Let's take a look at the type of bonds for CH4, that's methane. So first off, we need to figure out what elements we have, what type of elements we have in methane to figure out what type of bonds we have. If we look at the periodic table here, divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals, we can find carbon right here, that's a nonmetal. And hydrogen, it's over here with all these metals, but hydrogen is also a nonmetal. When we have two nonmetals, we have what's called a covalent bond. It's also called a molecular bond. So the type of bonds between the carbon and the hydrogens in methane, that's going to be covalent, also called molecular. Let's see what that looks like. So first we need to figure out how many valence electrons we have for this methane molecule for CH4. And we can go back to the periodic table to do that. So each group has the number of valence electrons labeled. Group 1, these all have one valence electron. 2 has two valence electrons. Skip the transition metals. And here's carbon right here in group 14, sometimes called 4A. It has four valence electrons. So four valence electrons for carbon. And then hydrogen, that's here in group 1. It has one valence electron. Four of those, though, so we'll multiply by four. So you have a total of eight valence electrons for CH4. So we can draw the Lewis structure now and show the type of bonds. So for our CH4 Lewis structure, we put carbon in the center and then hydrogens, they always go on the outside. So we'll put two electrons between atoms to form our covalent bond. We have two, four, so we're forming that covalent bond there, six, and then two more. That uses all eight. So this would be the Lewis structure for CH4 and the type of bonds right here these electrons are shared between the carbon and the hydrogen. It's a covalent bond. You can think of it this way. Each hydrogen, it brought one valence electron, and the carbon, it had four. It spread those out so they could share and form the covalent bond. Now the carbon has eight. That's an octet. It's very stable. And then the hydrogens, they each have two, and they only need two to be stable as well. So this is the structure for CH4, the Lewis structure for CH4 type of bonds, again, are covalent bonds where the electrons are shared between the atoms. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.